everyone, this is Ms. Rickfelder. I just wanted to make a quick video for you so that you knew how to find the lessons for each one of your assignments. So the lessons are basically the equivalent of your textbook. They may have videos, um, they may have little pictures for you, and they'll also have the actual content that you're supposed to be learning before you do the assignments. So as I've seen some of the assignments come in, I'm thinking maybe we're missing some of the lesson portions of it. So this is what your screen should look like. So go ahead and click on modules. It's on the left-hand side. Then once you've finished the welcome module, the introduction, and the how-to, you'll see week one module. So we're gonna click on that module one checklist and pretest. It'll take a moment for it to load. I'm not gonna go through the pretest with you. I'm just kind of showing you how you'll go through the module and where you will see the lessons. <laughs> Excuse me. So it will take a moment. There we go. All right, so it talks to you about, here is the checklist. I'm glad this finally came up. <laughs> um, module checklist and pretest. So it gives you an estimated time for each one of these. You can even print it, which may not be a bad idea, so you can check things off as you go. Then it says here that you're required to complete one collaboration assignment per segment. So that collaboration assignment um, assessment falls at 1.07 operations with scientific notation. So you want to make sure that you go and take a look at that. So when you're here, you can see that you have one of two. So when you click up here of the one of two, you're going to start the lessons. If you look, the lessons are right here. Let me, make, let me see if I can make this smaller. Mm. Let's go to two and see if that helps. <laughs> All right, so this is why you're taking a pretest and so on. So again, we're not going to do the pretest, um, but this is just where you would look for it. So now we're going to go ahead and click next. We're still in this. Okay, so now we're on the, the first assignment um, information. So notice it says 1.01, the number line. Then you're gonna wanna go up here. So read this first, these are your lesson objectives, but you don't wanna click the next button over here because that takes you to the assignment. You wanna click on this one of six. So if you look, we're on lesson one, the lesson one portion right now, you wanna go to the second page of it you want to click and be patient because it has been taking a bit. All right, so here you go. Now we can see the actual information that you're actually supposed to be learning. So you can see it looks like um, a regular textbook. And then you've got some interactive pieces here as well where you're supposed to classify each one. So for instance, 27 over 1 is rational because it's represented as a fraction A over B, where B is not equal to 0. So you want to make sure to go through each one of these pieces of the lesson. So that's 2, 3, and so on. So each page will list something new for your instruction before you actually complete the assignment. All right, so here is some more information about rational, converting repeating decimals to rational numbers. Goes on to talk about this. Example one, example two, or I'm sorry, example two, example three. Make sure that you're going through this, um, through each one of these. So hopefully that helps. After you finish this entire piece, once you've read everything for 1.01, .01, that's when you're gonna wanna go through and take the assignment or start the assignment. If there are any videos for this segment, they would be listed in the video gallery. So um, I'm not able to pull that up right now for some reason, but you get the gist of it. So make sure that you're reading the lessons before you actually start the assignment. Have a great day. You guys got this.